How would you like to hit a pro style drop shot off the forehand side? Well, in today's video lesson, we are going to cover it for you. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP player, and we're one of the leading online tennis instruction websites. With all of our free content and premium content, we are passionate about helping players all over the world get to the next level. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you've stumbled across this video, make sure you're subscribed and get that and make sure that notification bell is turned on so you can be updated on all of our latest releases and lessons. Now, in today's lesson, we are going to go over the forehand drop shot and I'm pretty sure you're not gonna find this information anywhere else. So I'm really excited to bring this to you today. I wish someone would have taught me when I was growing up exactly how to hit the pro style forehand drop shot. Let's get into it right now. So the first thing that I want you to consider is that you wanna use the drop shot when you get your opponent in a, in a defensive position. So you're in a position where you can make it look like you're going to really go after the forehand and hit an offensive forehand. And at the last moment, you can change your grip to a continental grip and hit that drop shot. Now, in terms of the technique behind it, you do have to have that continental grip. Essentially, you're shaking hands with the racket. It's the same grip you're going to use with a forehand volley, a backhand volley, and a serve. And so if you have a semi-western grip or an eastern grip on the forehand, I do recommend you change the grip to that continental, okay? And you can have a variation of the continental. I use what's called a soft continental or a weak continental, where my hand is uh, positioned so that it's in between a continental and an eastern forehand. Okay, so here's the big secret. You ready for the big secret on the forehand drop shot? You must create side spin. Yes, it's not about hitting underspin on the drop shot. Of course, there is underspin on the drop shot, but it's about creating side spin on it. So notice, notice my technique on this drop shot. When I take the racket back, I actually take it back outside my body or away from my body like this. So I start away or outside, I call this outside the body here, and when I swing, I come to the inside. So it's not like I'm just slicing straight forward like this. I am focusing on starting outside and then I'm coming inside. You see that swing path? I start with the racket out here and I come across the body. Now you don't wanna to swipe too fast. This is a controlled motion, but I want you to pay attention to the finish here. The finish is very important. A lot of coaches say, don't worry about the finish, it's just natural, but I think we should train the finish because if you hit a great drop shot and then you just hold the finish, you actually can see where the racket finished up and that gives your brain information to do it again the same way. So if I hit a winning drop shot and I finish like this, now I know where to put the racket at the end of the swing. And I can start to repeat that and create those solid repu reputations, solid repetitions that I can rely on under pressure. You'll notice my follow through or my finish is the same every single time. And I am, I'm essentially coming across the ball and creating the side spin. The side spin allows for control. Now, there's a specific reason I'm hitting the drop shot from this part of the court. Basically, I'm setting up as if I'm going to hit an inside out forehand and at the la or an inside in forehand, either one, and at the last moment, I'm going with the drop shot. Now, if I were to hit a drop shot from this side of the court over here, if I were to come over here and try to hit the drop shot from this position and hit it down the line, if I create side spin, I'm going to miss that ball wide. So you really don't want to hit a drop shot down the line from this part of the court. You can hit a, a, a slice forehand short cross court, but it's, it's really not a drop shot. The best place to hit a forehand drop shot is from the backhand side of the court. So if you're hitting backhands or inside out forehands, this is a great place to hit the forehand drop shot. You can hit it inside out and you can hit that side spin. That is what you're going to see the pros doing. They're gonna run around their backhand to hit a forehand, and they're gonna use the inside out more often than not. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Focus on 
having uh, the swing path go from outside to inside so that you can create that side spin and focus on hitting the drop shot more from the backhand part of the court instead of the forehand part of the court. Okay, so you're hitting it on the backhand side so that you can hit it inside out with that side spin. These are the little subtleties that can make all the difference in helping you get to the next level with your tennis. Again, my name is Jeff Salzenstein, the founder of Tennis Evolution. I really enjoyed bringing this video today. And if you enjoyed this video, I want to give you a free gift. And that free gift is to help you with your tennis strategy. So there's a lot of myths out there about tennis strategy, a lot of things that are being taught the wrong way. I don't want you to make those mistakes. So if you click the link below or somewhere in this video, you can learn the three strategy myths along with the solutions to help you play smarter tennis. I also have a free course to offer you. I know we're giving away so much because we want to deliver value to you. We want to over deliver. If you look in the description below, you can also sign up to get a free course that's inside the Tennis Evolution app. And this app you can take on the court. It's like having a coach in your pocket. Look for the link below, click it, get that free course, and we wanna help you get to the next level. Thanks for your time today.